thank you very much for coming to this lecture and giving me this opportunity to talk. 25 years ago, I was sitting at the opposite side as a very young journalist, and now I have this chance to talk to you from here, which is a great honor for me. Thank you. So I will uh, talk about talk today about uh, Japanese media and their problems and challenges, which is a very broad theme. So I will focus on three challenges today. The first is the relation to, with the internet, which is a big issue for any journalism in the world. And secondly, we will t uh, <coughs> I will talk about this uh, sort of inward-looking, domestic-oriented Japanese journalism and how foreign news is covered in the Japanese journalism. And in conjunction with this, uh, I will talk about this uh, latest uh, comfort women issue, which happened to Asahi Shimbun. And I will, uh, I had this survey on uh, about uh, with the foreign articles and concluded that Mr. Abe is as an is an agenda setter of the comfort women issue. So let me start uh, with the conventional media and internet. Well, first of all, the level of public trust. And the level of public trust in the media has been very high in Japan, as maybe you all are aware of. Um, in this country, newspaper journalists and TV broadcasters are more trusted than scholars or scientists. But nevertheless, just like their counterparts in any other developed countries, Japanese print media are not doing well. The total newspaper revenue has declined over the past 15 years, albeit not as steeply as in the United States and Europe. Advertising revenue, which accounts for roughly one-third of the total, has fallen off, particularly since the recent global recession. In comparison, the decline in circulation revenue, which accounts for almost 60% of the total, has been negligible. In 2013, circulation revenue was down about 10% from the 1997 peak. So this revenue structure is in contrast with the case in the United States, for example, where circulation revenue accounts for a modest 27% of total revenue, according to the latest survey. So the degree of the crisis is not as serious as the, as the United States uh, newspaper industry. But nevertheless, Japanese newspapers are in crisis, primarily because of the aging readership and diversification of media outlets that limit their advertising revenues. I must add at this point the peculiarities of the structure of the Japanese newspaper market, namely its strong circulation revenues thanks to the extensive home delivery network, which penetrates every corner of the nation. So you see these uh, small shops in the corner of the street, uh, uh, that these are the delivery station. Uh, they are quite, they are independent uh, delivery stations. And this network of home delivery is sustained Excuse me. It's sustained by nearly 20,000 distributors. This system has created a nationwide home delivery network that accounts for a full 95% of Japanese newspapers sold. And personal, personal and community relationships have been the key factors that determine subscriber loyalty. Many Japanese readers remain loyal to one newspaper or another simply because their family has always subscribed to that newspaper or because they happen to know the neighborhood distributor. In other words, Japanese newspapers largely incorporate features of a community paper. Some delivery stations, particularly in the populated rural, rural areas, even, offers, even offer services like renting wheelchairs or helping change light bulbs for the aged, or offering home visits to check on people living alone, reinforcing the newspaper's role as a community medium. This is the case even with papers that sell millions of copies nationwide. However, such communal trust among Japanese is being challenged. At the moment, the aging readership is the biggest concern for the industry. If, if we see this graph, men below the age of 14, 40 spend more time on the internet than on newspapers. It is expected that this trend will not change greatly as they get older. 
So in 50 years, the present day teenagers are likely to stay with the internet and will not support a traditional print media community in Japan.